Is it just me or did SpongeBob get real dark real quick? Hey guys, it's Phoebe from WatchMojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon moments that made fans rage quit. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Griffin, but Brian's injuries are just too severe for us to save him. I don't know how much longer he has, but I suggest that you all go in and say your goodbyes. We're taking a look at those moments in cartoon shows that made us blind with rage. Keep an eye out for me in the comments because I'll be posting my personal picks. Let's get to the list. I am the Great Gazoo, and I thank you for rescuing me. <laughs> Number 10. Bendy Gets Off Scot-Free, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. 11 minutes is all a show needs to send its reputation down the toilet. Case in point, the short episode Everyone Knows It's Bendy. Have you considered that perhaps it is not Bendy performing these acts, but your son instead? What? Throughout the episode, newcomer Bendy commits a ton of bratty actions, like writing on the walls, breaking vases, and walking through the house with muddy shoes. Unfortunately, other characters like Blue and Wilt are framed and accused of Bendy's wrongdoings, and he eventually gets off without repercussions. Bendy was such a detested character that he was never brought back, and the episode's writer, Lauren Faust, apologized to fans for writing him into the show. Back up the pipe system so I can expose him for the fraud he is! Blue? You flooded the house! Yeah, but Bendy took a cookie! Number 9. The Entire American Fung Episode – American Dad He admits he's bored of only being a cartoon emperor. So I give him tennis shoe business, and he give me American Dad. American Fung was an experiment that just did not work. In this meta episode, American Dad creator Seth MacFarlane sells the show to a Chinese businessman named Fung Wa. It's kind of an interesting concept that could have yielded some funny scenarios, but it didn't. It was immediately disliked by fans and currently sits at a quite abysmal 4 on 10 on IMDb. Common criticisms include the purposeless inclusion of Feng Hua, the lame repetitive jokes, and the total absence of a plot. Well, looks like they've decided to put us in a private room. Let the anniversary begin. Viewers were left staring at their TV screens in total disbelief as this bizarre and humorless event played out in front of them. And let us tell you, they were not happy about it. <laughs> Number 8. Archer Falls Into a Coma Archer Wait, but if that's a cyborg... That means the man in the pool is... We hate to say it, but the future legacy of Archer could be in question. If it ended around Season 7, it may have been praised as one of the best animated shows of all time, but Seasons 8 and 9 have done significant damage to its reputation, and it all started with Archer falling into a coma. The subsequent seasons, Dreamland and Danger Island respectively, have been fiercely criticized by the fanbase for being inconsequential. He's been on this crummy island four years, so he's never heard of The Hobbit. Which, as we all know, was published just last year, in 1937. Yeah, Archer's Coma has allowed the writers to experiment with different settings, time periods, and situations, but it also means that none of the on-screen events hold meaning. They're essentially two seasons of filler, and unfunny filler at that. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, for the. Come on, seriously? What, you couldn't find a snow globe? Number 7. The introduction of Poof, Sparky, and Chloe, the Fairly Odd Parents. Introducing new characters into a beloved show is always tricky. Some, like the cherished Desmond Hume on Lost, became instant fan favorites. Others, like Poof, are so bad that they single handedly ruin what was once a great show. The death knell of the Fairly Odd Parents arguably rang with the season 6 premiere Fairly Odd Baby, which introduced fan not favorite Poof to the show. And things only got worse. Sparky joined the Turner family in season 9, but was instantly hated by the fans and written out. And then Chloe was introduced in season 10 and broke the proverbial camel's back. A show can only withstand so much. Worst day ever! Jinx! Double jinx! Number 6. Mr. Garrison Sex Change, South Park. Now, you're absolutely sure you want to have a vaginoplasty. My whole life I've been a woman trapped in a man's body. A sex change operation is my last chance at happiness. If there's one thing we've learned about the TV business throughout the years, it's that South Park can survive anything. 
Whether it's seemingly world-ending controversies, political enemies, or proclamations of declining quality, the show has weathered it all. Except maybe the whole Mrs. Garrison thing. Mom? Dad? What's a sex change operation? The sex change storyline was criticized for being lazy and cliched, with many considering it little more than an excuse to be controversial. This is reinforced by the inclusion of graphic footage from a real sex change operation, which Trey and Matt only included because they were out of ideas. South Park can be intelligent and thought-provoking when it wants to be, but this was not one of those times. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do with my body! A woman has a right to choose! No, I mean you're physically unable to have an abortion because you can't get pregnant. Number 5. The Return of Slade – Teen Titans Go Sometimes a show is a little too cheeky for its own good. You don't understand. It's Slade. <gasps> this infamous episode began with Robin breaking the dramatic news of the evil Slade's return. But it then cut straight to the battered Titans emerging from the tower and talking about how great the battle and associated storylines had been. And it wasn't just the fight that was amazing. In the end, so many compelling storylines came together and resolved in such a satisfying way. As you can imagine, this royally pissed fans off, and many were quick to denounce the show's manipulation. Others hated the episode's message about how childish nostalgia can be. We can't hold on to our childhood forever. Things change. The return of Slade currently sits at a 2 on 10 on IMDb, a clear indication of the utter disdain the fans have towards this episode. Well, it's too bad people will never see any of it. No! That's a good thing, bro! It was just too epic! Number 4. Plankton Attempts Suicide – SpongeBob SquarePants Now don't move it till I say- Ow! Okay! Honestly, what the heck happened to SpongeBob SquarePants? What was once a charming show about an eccentric sea sponge is now whatever it is. We can think of two specific scenes that are emblematic of the show's decline. The disgusting toenail sequence from House Fancy and Plankton's suicide attempt in One Course Meal. Go away, cheesehead! Can't you see I'm trying to get run over? In fact, better yet, just step on me as hard as you can. Would you do that for me? The former represented an unwelcome shift to gross out humor, while the latter was something that just didn't belong on a children's TV show. Fans hated that Mr. Krabs and Spongebob preyed on Plankton's fears to the point of suicide, and harshly condemned the writers for treating a sensitive topic irresponsibly. There's nothing like a good suicide joke to get the kids laughing. Said no one. Forget it, kid. I'll just wait for the next bus. Go on back to the Krusty Krab and enjoy yourself. Okay. Number 3. Meeting the Great Gazoo – The Flintstones Jumping the shark is a term that represents a show's instantaneous decline in quality, and it's named after a scene in Happy Days where Fonzie literally jumps a shark on water skis. There he goes! If jumping the shark never caught on, we could have used meeting the great gazoo, because this little green alien effectively killed the Flintstones. You doubt the powers of the great gazoo? Take that! While gazoo wasn't introduced until the final season and only appeared in a handful of episodes, critics immediately lambasted his inclusion for being nonsensical and stupid. Why on earth did they decide to write an alien into the show? No one knows, and to this day it remains one of the most baffling decisions in TV history. So join America's favorite TV family! And a tiny green space alien named Osmodiar that only Homer can see on Fox this fall! Number 2. Brian's Death – Family Guy Brian Griffin's death will always have a place in the TV history books, just not for the right reasons. Brian, look out! <laughs> The whole fiasco began with the 12th season episode Life of Brian. In it, Brian is graphically mangled by a car and later dies with the tearful griffins by his side. You... you've given me a wonderful life. I love you all. His surprisingly poignant death made headlines and reinvigorated mainstream interest in Family Guy, but was met with terrible ire from the show's fanbase. IMDb was pummeled with bad reviews, and a petition to bring back Brian was started on Change.org. And while Brian did indeed return only two episodes later, this too received criticism, as the temporary death was considered a manipulative ratings ploy. It was a lose-lose situation. Brian, look out! What the hell? You're alive, my friend! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Mr. 
Uncle Scooby? <laughs> Hi, I'm Scrappy Doo. Scrappy Doo? Iggy wears bunny pajamas, the kind with feet and floppy ears. No, of course not. I didn't say that. Well, my family doesn't think I'm bad luck anymore. In fact, now they think I'm good luck. Hey, Lincoln, put the head back on before we get stung by a jellyfish. But unfortunately, only when I'm in the squirrel suit. This thing just isn't working for me anymore. Maybe I did break up with you. I was wondering why you never called back. Uh-huh. But now I've got a boyfriend who puts me first. So... Bye. Number one. Skinner is an imposter. The Simpsons. The weird thing about The Simpsons' decline is that no one can agree on when it started. Many critics point to the evil elf jockeys from Season 11's Saddlesaur Galactica. What is this place? Welcome to the secret land of the jockeys. <laughs> but others argue that the decline came sooner, in Season 9's The Principal and the Popper. This is the episode that reveals Seymour Skinner to be an imposter named Armin Tamzarian. I have never been happier or prouder to be Seymour Skinner. You're not Seymour Skinner. Skinner! Skinner? I'm Skinner. Fans absolutely hated this revelation, and it's often called the definitive end of the show's golden age. Even those associated with The Simpsons, including Matt Groening and Harry Shearer, consider the episode to be a horrible mistake, and one of the show's worst. With this one simple storyline, a TV empire began to crumble. You know, maybe I've been a little too uptight in the past. Well, from now on, you're gonna see a new Seymour Skinner. Oh, no, we won't. Yes, mother. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.